game? Uh, well, I'm the game director, oh. so I'm the one... Well, I actually don't know what I do, but I'm very busy doing it. <laughs> how, how big is your team? We have 15 guys at Porter Play. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Is Super.com your first publisher? Or you guys done well, games with them? we've done games with publishers before, but this is our first like bigger publisher, so we are very much looking forward to the partnership. And how's been the general reception so far today? You're appreciating the fans, or how are we doing? Yeah, I mean, generally we get very positive reactions. Uh, of course, there's always improvements. So we are working hard to bring the game up to really top notch. But so far, everybody loves it. All right, so for our audience who's going to be watching through the camera, can you describe the game a little bit for us? Most certainly. Well, Broken Lines is a game about eight soldiers, eight British soldiers from World War II, lost behind enemy lines. They're on a mission, but they crash land and everybody dies. And they're like, what is our purpose? Where's our officers? What should we do? And four of them, they're veterans. They're like, well, we should run away and save ourselves. And four of them are rookies. They're like, no, there's got to be a mission and we need to find it and solve it for honor and for immortality. So you're kind of the, the person, the fate that directs which of these two fractions are going to win the argument and what is the game going to end up with? I was demoing the game a bit and you guys were kind of uh, what, what, what kind of changes are you introducing in the turn-based strategy? Um, one of the things that you were demonstrating, or at least telling me about, was uh, you're, you're able to make all the moves and then press, press go? Yeah, exactly. What we're doing is, we learned it's called we go turn-based tactics. You go, it's we go at the same time. So basically, you have all the time in the world to plan your moves. You can really micro what you're going to do. Then you press execute and you and the enemy move at the same time. Some games have done this before us, but what we are re doing is we are really optimizing it to be uh, user friendly. So it's very quickly to do your turn. You can do very fine tuned things, but it's a few clicks to do it. Uh, by by kind of kind of changing it like that, like what kind of new strategies are you introducing that people are used to to other strategy games? Uh, well, I mean, we are not reinventing the wheel in regards to mechanics, but we are doing it more realistically. So we have realistic ballistics, uh, we have cover, which only works as cover if it actually stops enemy bullets. We have bullets which misses you, then hits somebody behind you. We have explosive damage, which is reduced if you're behind different kinds of cover. Uh, we have hide advantages, we have suppression, meaning you will hit worse if everybody shoots at you. Uh, we have a lot of commands, which are kind of uh, makes your squad work in an organized fashion. You can do smoke grenades, you can do covering fire. So it's more about a realistic approach than, than about some totally new mechanics. And you guys have actually put a lot into this then, so would you let me know how long would it take like an average user to do a playthrough of the full experience? Uh, well, the game is not easy, so you might game over the first time you play it. Uh, but then you try again and then you are better and you have unlocked some things and then you can complete it. We're not totally sure, but it will be around uh, 6 to 10 hours. And what consoles are PC, mobile, where's our target platforms? Uh, well, we're looking at all target platforms. The first one are going to be PC and Switch. Switch is getting a lot of good games that we've seen at this show, so another one from Super.com. And what's the working relationship been like between you and publishing? Everything great? It's been excellent. I mean, Better. It's, it's, a, it's a new company, but it's a lot of uh, old experience, so to speak. So we're really looking forward. So far, it's looking very good. Yeah, we've seen a lot of promising things come out, so we're looking forward to yours as well. And how long has the game been in development one more time? Uh, around two years. Two years. Yeah, and uh, we've been a, kind of a small team working on it, but just keep working on it while we did other things to survive. And now, finally, we got this publishing deal, which allows us to put the whole team in on it and really uh, grind away. Okay, so like you guys were kind of moonlighting on a couple other things while getting this you know, officially signed, and then now that it is, you're able to carry it all the way through. So that must have been a good feeling for the team to like, all right, we got support, we're taking it all the way, so I'm sure everyone's really happy about that over there, right? Yeah, exactly, and as you say, moonlighting is not the wrong phrase because we've kind of been under the radar. We wanted to do a splash and to tell about it until we signed with the publisher. So here we are. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Is there anything cool you want to say to the team or to the fans who will be watching this online? And one last thing you want to get to like get some hype for your game or to get people to go check it out? Well, I just want to say if you really like 
realistic tactical games, which are easy to play, then Broken Lines is totally for you. You heard it first. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>